African consumers that are hoping for a rate cut this week may be disappointed. However, looking back at the last two decades, they've actually enjoyed a low rate cycle for a few years. The repo rate is currently at 6.75% and the prime lending rate is at 10.25%. Back in 1998, consumers had to contend with a prime lending rate of 25.5%. Until fairly recently, uh, and since we had a bit of a rate, height, uh, a rate hiking cycle, um, we were at 30 or 35 year lows. So we're coming off that low base, but we're, we're, we're still in relatively low territory. We have to bear in mind that during the 80s, for example, we peaked out at about 25% to 25.5%. Instead of a rate cut, the next move could be up. But the consensus thus far is that the Reserve Bank will keep rates on hold until 2019. The rand has strengthened significantly in recent months and that will help to keep food and fuel inflation in check. However, there's still some political uncertainty and of course the Reserve Bank will be monitoring that closely. We don't expect the MPC to move. This environment is very volatile, the, the rand remains very volatile despite its recent gains and we believe that uh, the MPC will be very cautious and maintain interest rates unchanged. Just three weeks ago, the ANC announced plans to nationalize the Reserve Bank. While it's expected the bank will still operate independently of government, some concerns have been raised. The political situation is being closely monitored, as is the country's growing debt burden. Those numbers are going to be watched very closely, uh, considering what we saw in the in the mini budget. You know, we're going to be looking out whether you know those numbers are going to get better, or whether we will see a deterioration in, for instance, uh, the debt situation. President Zuma threw a bit of a bombshell into the whole situation, but announced by announcing that tertiary education would be free for all, and that will cost an estimated three billion dollars, and that's on top of a budget deficit of $4 billion. Now, where on earth is that going to come from in a country that at best this year might grow at slightly north of 1%? Finance Minister Malusi Gigaba's budget speech in February will also be in focus, after which international ratings agency Moody's will make a decision on whether to drop the country completely into junk territory. In light of possible developments that could alter the inflation trajectory, Many would agree with the Reserve Bank's usual stance to err on the side of caution. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.